Assalamu alaikum guys. So today we're going to demonstrate you and teach you how to make this beautiful tea. This tea is a Kashmiri tea from Kashmir of course, also known as Kashmiri chai. It is a beautiful heartwarming tea that can be made in those cold winter days. You know, of course, Kashmir being a country in the on the Himalayan mountains, you know, it's always cold out there. So it is a perfect recipe for cold weather. So please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button. And without any further ado, let's get into it. For our Kashmiri chai or Kashmiri tea, we are going to need two cups of water, two cups of milk, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of green tea, six cardamoms, one star anise, two tablespoons of crushed pistachios, two tablespoons of crushed almonds, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, and one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. For this recipe, you're going to need this tool. As you can see, it is very long and it is shaped like a small cup. If you don't have it, you can use a ladle, but I would advise you to use this type of tool since it is better for this recipe. So we're going to start by turning on our stove to which we're going to add two cups of water. And now we're gonna add in our green tea, our cardamoms and star anise. We'll add in one eighth of a teaspoon of salt, followed by a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda and we'll cook this until it reaches a boil so give it a quick mix and let it cook until it reaches a boil on a separate saucepan or pot we'll turn on the heat and we will add in two cups of milk. And we will let the milk cook until it barely reaches a boil. As you can see, our tea has reached a boil and it has changed color. The water has changed color. And now at this point, you have to keep moving the liquid around. Don't let it sit in one place. This will allow it to keep changing color and give you a deeper and stronger flavor. And ultimately, it will help us to color our milk and give us that the beautiful pink, purple, magenta look that Kashmiri tea uh, has. So keep moving it around like this until only about one cup of liquid is left in the pot. So we started with two cups. We'll cook the tea until only one cup of water is left or fluid in our pot. So keep moving it around. Don't stop moving. As you can see, after some time of cooking, there's only about a cup left of tea, of green tea in our pot and you see it has changed color it's a deep red color now in this we will add two cups of ice water so as you can see here we've got our ice water with ice cubes of course and we'll add in two cups of it make sure you don't add the ice just the water What this will do, it will help us to enhance the color of our uh, Kashmiri tea. 
and on the other side as you can see our milk has reached a bare simmer it's about to boil so now what we will do is, is we will add in two tablespoons of caster sugar just like so and now we will keep cooking our tea until it reaches a boil and then we will tell you what to do next so finally our liquid has reached a boil we will add this to our sweetened milk and that will be our Kashmiri tea so make sure you take a sieve and hold it over your milk as to catch any uh, particles so just like that we will take a ladle full of our liquid and start pouring it through our sieve and as, as immediately you can see the milk has started to change its color and it's assuming a pinkish color now the more liquid you add the more the color will turn pink and it is up to you to choose the color of your tea since I like my Kashmiri tea a bit more pink I've decided to add one final ladle of liquid and this is it there we go our Kashmiri tea is indeed ready now it's just time to serve it up which we will show it to you right now and just to let you know with the leftover liquid you can store it in the refrigerator for up to a week and it can be reused for the same purpose now we're going to serve the tea so as you can see our tea is ready over here and we're just going to pour it into two large sized teacups and now we're going to garnish it with a little bit of crushed pistachios so just take a, a pinch of them and just sprinkle them over all your tea and do the same with the other cup again a little bit of pistachios and sprinkle them over your tea and we're also going to garnish them with crushed almonds again a pinch and sprinkle it over your tea and another pinch for the second cup and sprinkle it over your tea so this is it from me. Well done, Allah Hafiz.